Jewel Blades. I get to say this one more time for Rise in this bonus and unexpected update of update 6. And it's a good one for us guys thanks to the fact that we finally have a new weapon to slot into our builds. And the ability to gain even more element resistance for dragon conversion. And that new weapon of course belongs to Primordial Malzano which comes with a unique skill. The silver slicers with that awesome Malzano design in the superior colour of blue are quote ancient demon slaying weapons. Which basically means they increase your healing from blood right which in turn helps proc the new blood awakening skill even easier. Plus as a bonus it even works when you're at full health and not technically healing. The weapons are dragon element with 310 raw and purple sharpness to begin with and feature genuinely outrageous decoration slots with three size 4 decoration slots they're so good. With our new build for this update we're able to hit some insane numbers for dual blades. I'm talking roughly 300 a hit is possible with the right buffs and setup. A spiral slash combo is a massive burst of 200 to 300 per hit which is phenomenal Phenomenal DPS. The potential being tied to that new skill, Blood Awakening, which provides up to 40 attack, 30 more element when healing up to 150 health at level 3, which is solid. All of it combines into what feels to be the strongest versions of Jewel Blades Rice has to offer, and it's a really satisfying update for us. So with all that said, let's now talk about builds, and a big thank you to Josh for working this out for me to try and showcase. We start as always with the new armor set, which has the Valstrax Epoch Helm, or Risen Valstrax, then four pieces of the new Primordial set from Malzano himself. When it comes to the Talisman, you're going to need a Talisman that has either Furious or Dragon Conversion. In my case, I don't even have a great Dragon Conversion Talisman. It has two levels of Dragon Conversion and then two two slots, which as you can see, I put Weakness Exploit into. But if you have a three Dragon Conversion or maybe better slots or a Furious Talisman with better slots, that would work too. This set with the Dragon build with the best slots overall features full Crit Eye, full Dragon Attack. We got the full Crit Boost, Weakness Exploit, Critical Element, Master's Touch to maintain sharpness, Blood Right, Furious 3 out of 3 for the Element Boost, element exploit of course, burst, the main dragon conversion for the big burst of element that gives, and of course the new skill blood awakening. These are the decorations that I use to achieve that in each individual slot. Again this is for the dragon build specifically but we will go through all of them. Something important to know then as you can see is each one of these is augmented, these armor pieces, which is mostly giving furious skill on it. So for example with my chest piece here it has one furious on it and I believe this cost me one crit boost. Meanwhile with my boots I have actually gained a crit boost to mitigate that loss that I talked about and then there's my waist with furious on it and my helmet with the last level. The reason I bring this up is because it's going to be very important at this late stage in the true end game of Rise. Curious crafting it must be part of your build. For this you're going to want to do default augmentation or maybe even the new slot plus to guarantee you improve your slots. This will allow your build to actually fit all these skills. Depending on your talisman say you've got a dragon conversion one like me you'll need to get three out of three furious by by augmenting using skills plus to get furious on your pieces. Dropping skills that don't really matter to us as much like part breaker and not allowing yourself to go below say element exploit one. On screen though are the screenshots of me doing my augmenting and what I actually did to get the furious. I would also recommend if you can do normal augmenting to grab yourself at least wirebug whisper level one that is a nice quality of life improvement to the build. I've shown you the dragon decoration slots now I'm showing you the water ones as you can see this one has all of these decorations in each individual slot and again this is a good showcase of how I have a really bad talisman that's not providing me really what it should at this late stage of the end game. You should have a better one with better slots and you can also augment your gear to say get yourself at least an extra one slot to help with getting iron shell for your water and ice and teostras for the fire. Here is fire and the decorations that I have for this. Again if you've got better decoration slots than me then absolutely work in more skills. I'm making some trade-offs here. Here is the ice decorations. Again same story with the trade-offs. You're looking for better deco slots if you can. Can. And lastly, for our Thunder set with the worst decoration slots of all of them, these are the slots that I'm using. On the other hand, we of course want to highlight the weapons you're using and why. Of course, we're using the new Silver Slicers for their awesome passive benefit and great dragon and purple sharpness and the slots. These are insane. Water remains the same with the Mud Shredders with the really high water element. With that insane element damage we are able to get, we go to the highest element with Magma Shredders for fire. It's of course Kushalas for thunder. Unless you really want better slots, then you can maybe consider Zinoga. And finally, Kushala for ice for the higher ice element. In regards to the weapon augmenting then, it's much the same as last time 
we max out element boost as much as we can, which in this case is level eight. And then we have one level of space for attack boost there. This nets us an incredible plus 30 attack, plus 53 dragon, and even a bit of sharpness. For the playstyle and just general overview, it's the same as last time really, your goal is the same. Power up your dragon conversion by playing in blue scroll, then when it's proc so you've got the element defense, you can swap to red to boost your numbers via the dragon conversion, and also Furious is working in as well because it gets slapped into that conversion. Then we focus the weakest body parts and break them for maximum element damage, then use that broken part such as a head to target it to heal and trigger blood awakening for the big boost there. Now it's time for the fun bit where we talk math. We're going to do the math for the new weapons, the silver slide of course, which have a raw of 310 and element of 40 with no affinity as a baseline. Starting with the raw damage. 310 raw is what we begin with. We're going to be getting plus 15 for three bursts when active, plus 20 because we'll have blood awakening, but we're going to give it 50% uptime. So it's not up all the time. If it was, it would be plus 40. Then we get plus 30 from our one attack boost augment and the 10 augment slots. So that's 65. 310 plus 65 is 375. Then we have purple sharpness, which is a 39% damage increase. So 375 times 1.39 is 521.25. Next we have our affinity which we should have 90% thanks to 50% from weakness exploit and also 40% from crit eye and we have three crit boost so that's 40% damage increase 90% of the time. 40 times 0 0.09 brings us to 0 0.36 so our original number of 521.25 times 1.36 brings us to 708.9 rounded up that's 709 so our roar of 709 is awesome let's go to element our element starts at 40 we have a five dragon attack so that's a 20 percent increase so 40 times 1.2 is 48 then we have just this roster of things from the skills first is plus four from dragon attack five we have plus 53 from the eight element boost and the 10 augment slots we have 12 extra element from three burst while active 22 element addition with our armor set with three dragon conversion then another 25 thanks to the three furious we have with the three dragon conversion then 15 from blood awakening it would be 30 if it was up all the time but that's unreasonable so 50% 15 so 48 plus 131 is 179 element and this shows you how we're getting those big numbers then we have purple sharpness 25% increased to element so 179 times 1.25 is 223.75 next is the element exploit we have three levels of that so that's a 15% increase so 223.75 times 1.15 is 257 0.3125. Finally, we have the affinity, still at 90%. This time we have three crit element, so that's 15% increased element damage 90% of the time. 15 times 0 0.9 is 13.5. So 257. 0.312 is times by 1.135, bringing us to a number with a lot of decimals, which will round down to 292. So our element is 292. Therefore, our final numbers are raw attack of 709, an element of 292 in our dragon build. That, of course, as always, does not include the massive modifiers to damage like demon mode, which will raise the numbers by a notable amount and general RNG of gameplay. This just shows us a mathematical example of the improvements and stats of this set. But there you have it, our new extremely high element potential in update 6, which is a great state to have dual blades in, so it was a good feeling when you actually get a new weapon with an update and it even features like an extra mechanic attached to it. If this video has helped you though, please do drop a like as they take a good amount of effort on our part. And again, a big thank you to Josh for coming up with the build update for U6 so that I can test and present it. For now though, thanks for watching. I've been Hollow, you've been you, see you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye